robots are everywhere. I think you you noticed uh, at least the uh, delivery robots and the other robotized systems uh, that are less visible, but they define our reality. And now the session is AI in robotics coming next. And the moderator of the session is Alexey Ganachenko, director for Center of Robotics from Spear. He will speak about how through AI robots uh, become our assistants. And then he will introduce the experts. Alexey Ganachenko, please, the floor is yours. Let's welcome, let's welcome, hello, Alexei. This is your session, please. Good afternoon. Again, my name is Alexei Ganachenko. I am leading Robotics Center in Sbir. Unfortunately, I won't be able to speak about all things we are working on today, but uh, me and my colleagues will speak about how we see the future of artificial intelligence in robotics and how it will impact robotics and what we are doing inside our team to make this, uh, to, to approach this future. A couple of words about uh, Sbir Robotics Center. We were set up in 2017, and over these years, we've been developing a number of uh, applied and research projects. Research that um, uh, we are actively publishing. You can have a look at publications of uh, Spear, and usually we are among the top uh, uh, those working in artificial intelligence. Uh, so. In operations of our lab, we try to stay focused uh, primarily on not uh, embedding the current robots uh, somewhere, but how to find an opportunity to give new capabilities to robots. One of the first projects we made were, you know, we collaborated with Microsoft Research, the only one, uh, the only joint project in the history of Russia on how to uh, teach robots to uh, grasp uh, heavy bags uh, with uh, money project. So it uh, it is uh, it is hard to simulate it. Uh, re in real life. So the first uh, learning was the basis should, uh, should be to make a simulation and then uh, make it efficient in cloud. And collaboration with Microsoft Research allowed us to achieve good results. And the publication on their website is uh, speaking, is telling about our, our results. Uh, well, if they haven't erased the this publication from their website. And the majority of our efforts today is aiming at um, finding approaches to how artificial intelligence, how to create uh, an artificial intelligence that can replicate the capabilities of not human beings in managing mechanical actions or interaction with the world, but at least on the level of a mouse. because. Uh, Every every such animal can find what they need and find uh, shelter and uh, find food, irrespective of what is happening around. If we look at uh, Zart, uh, the best uh, works uh, in this area today, they are far away from, from such achievements. And our main research is mostly focused on manipulation and how these approaches of uh, managing classic manipulators can be replicated in super promising uh, area as uh, humanoid robotics, which is uh, actively developing across the world, attracting attention not only among investors, uh, we see a lot of records in this area, but but uh, all of us who watch videos on YouTube and improve the ratings of such videos with cool robots uh, walking uh, crossroads and uh, manipulating off-roads and manipulating various uh, various objects. Well, the majority of them are cherry picking. But uh, when my colleagues uh, visited WRC conference this year in China. They were very upset uh, that uh, all videos you can watch on successes of Chinese robotics on the internet, and it's not possible to uh, to see in real life because no one is showing them. So of course all these things work effectively, but sometimes it's hard to replicate it in real conditions. And uh, the things uh, that they showed uh, are simpler than what they have on their videos in terms of quality and the movements the robots can make. So our team 
is a mixture of competences, uh, both in research and development, product development. And as I mentioned, uh, we are making various applied projects to be useful. And also, we are making our research work, uh, publishing articles. Uh, we have more than 10 candidates uh, and PhDs on our team who are making research. And we are also working closely collaborating with uh, academia partners and industrial partners. Uh, it was Coltec, Mises, ITMO, uh, FISTEC, uh, and the list is growing. So if someone wants to get more details about that, we can, within the framework of age or anywhere somewhere else, we can discuss this. Our technologies do not always find a simple way into reality, because AI, it is hard to extract it from labs, but a number of projects are operating uh, in close correlation with research. For instance, our painter uh, robot uh, Kandinsky started as fun, fun project. Uh, let's use marker for drawing. This year, he learned how to paint things with a brush. And this is not just hard code, but end-to-end uh, uh, -end neural network processing. So from your prompt, uh, I want a Malevich picture down to the movements of the manipulator uh, generated and managed by neuro pre-trained neuro, neural network. And also inspection robot for vineyards and can navigate in quite uh, complicated conditions. Uh, green, green is everywhere around, and you should find find your trajectory and go through it. GPS is important, of course, but in today's reality, you cannot rely on it 100%. You can see a number of our robots at the first floor, and I think the most interesting of them are our two small guys, Topo and Kubo. We we introduced to the to the world for the first time. So this is just the first step of these small guys. They just learn how to walk, and uh, as uh, children, they might uh, stumble. And uh, we will continue working to make their skills, uh, to improve their skills. This is a research platform for us. This is not a super product. Uh, we invested all our efforts over the previous year. No, engineers uh, asked us to have a small robot to work with reinforcement learning so it uh, so it is not harming anyone and we prepared this thing and we also we we actually fell in love with these guys and shared them with the world so we have now these two small guys we can monitor and a couple of stands on the first floor where AI is is the heart of the whole system I'm speaking about various uh, stands on the booths on manipulation and uh, planning of activities. A year ago, we thought that uh, planning activities uh, movements is an enabler to boost robotics in various scenarios. But uh, the challenge was that you can have uh, a good detailed plan, but you cannot explain the robot how to make your laces so motor skills is a fundamental barrier, and how robots uh, are built uh, historically is not bringing us closer to how living organisms are operating, how we interact. Why I'm speaking about squirrels or mouse or mice, uh, uh, cognitive abilities um, are not uh, very are not great, but robustness and generalization of their skills of interaction with the environment around is uh, something we cannot yet achieve. And uh, before we teach our robots how to interact with the world, how to open doors and take bottles uh, and make any movements, even without semantic description, without all that, we will not be able to create uh, really useful robots that can work next to us every day helping us and uh, um, make this dream true that they take all physical manual work and will be doing creativity. But now it's vice versa. It's the other way around. Uh, the utilities is still the industry with people employed. Uh, so why are we building robots to tackle in a more efficient way to solve various problems? Uh, 
sold by human beings today. So we're not growing in numbers. And the number of people is the curbing factor for development of economies. Uh, robots without AI will not be able to tackle all the tasks. And the number of robots uh, applied in top countries is achieving the limit uh, classic robotics can, can have, can reach without AI. AI will, of course, enhance the capabilities of robots. A lot of trends where artificial intelligence is opening new opportunities for robots, surgery and uh, uh, inspections and new tasks uh, in production sites. But anyway, they are consolidated around the thing that robots uh, need brains uh, that will manage them. And it is reflected in the following. Robots, uh, robots can solve tasks, but fundamentally speaking, everyone tries to substitute um, brain robots with artificial, artificial brain robots and create a simplified version of human beings to solve the tasks. The key trends are multi-model algorithms uh, uh, and the security, uh, AI security and uh, ethics of robots and how to accumulate enough data to train the robots.